Okie dokie, it's time to get amongst the common people and see what's happening in the world of transport. What do we have here? There's a bloke that's trying to board a train in India and he's ended up getting a free crowd surfing experience. He wasn't prepared to become Kurt Cobain, but there you go. Overpopulation is one of those issues you don't want to think about, but unfortunately, catching the train in the morning forces you to think about it. Everyone here is like, please, there's no space. We're so delicately positioned, you're fucking messing everything up. If you get rid of the bag, you can enter. She's determined though, she fights for elbow space, and she's in. You will see homo sapiens with strange hairstyles, especially on buses. Don't stare though, just film it and put it on the internet. If you see a mouse crawl into a Sheila's cleavage, no questions, it is all normal. Normal is whatever you make it on public transport. Many people catch up on sleep when riding the train. Have empathy, let them rest. Eventually, they'll face plant the floor and wake up. Or you can let a subway rat inform them as to when their stop is coming up. That bloke will never sleep peacefully again. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa! Communication can break down between humans when they're confined to tight spaces. Ah! Ah! Don't take it personally, just stay calm, focus on the end goal. One day you will get off the train. Some wankers treat shared spaces like a bedroom. I'm an open-minded bloke, but yeah, nah, keep the horniness to a minimum, everyone. Feet, you're gonna see feet, whether you like it or not. Fucking feet. You'll see more bare feet than you do in a Tarantino movie. Because using public transport requires waking up early, you don't always have time for self-care at home. So fucking give your nose hair a trim during the commute. This is a major advantage of not having a car. There's a time-travelling knight. He's on a mission to retrieve modern clothes and take them back to the Middle Ages. It's a basic research op. There's Pennywise. Definitely be careful staring at him. There's a robot. He's waiting to meet up with the knight to exchange research notes. This fella is like, no way is coronavirus fucking coming near me. I don't know what this costume is. It's got to be an original one. It's not an Avenger. No way. Someone has shed their entire skin. That is as gross as trimming your nose hair or cutting your toenails. Free live music is a huge perk of using public transport. He's loving it. Actually, he's thinking, I better get my fucking car back from the mechanic tomorrow. You're not going to get any work done on a train. Quit pretending. Quit pretending you're being productive to shame the rest of us. Just sit there like everyone else. You can sleep. You can suck a face. Cut your bloody toenails. I don't care. But do not pretend to work. That is the worst behaviour. Oh yeah, everyone thinks they're an acrobat on the handrails, don't they? Yeah, nah, what a backflip. Nailed it, mate. Spider-Man is the only one that can get away with doing cool moves in a carriage. Yeah, go Spidey, it's your birthday. Gonna party like it's your birthday. Okay, this guy can get away with it too. That's all. Yeah, this is quality free entertainment. When public transport entertainers nail it, they genuinely nail it. There's a pair of undies and a couple of empty mini bottles of whiskey. There's a story. There's a story here, and your best bet is to never know that story.